I would like to welcome you to the Grand Order of Draco Slayers. And I would like to thank everyone who has uh, stood with us and that has decided to stand with us in our, I guess, coming public. We are a true magical order. We're a mystical order. And we've been in existence as far as I know, for at least the, the past 12 to 13 years, and um, maybe even a couple years older than that. Doesn't seem like a long time, but it's been long enough for us to realize that the threat, the reptilian Illuminati current coming through our earth is uh, is very real and it's hitting us on two fronts most powerfully it hits us in the energetic and uh, what you'd call spiritual realms it's harder to uh, it's harder to fight them there and uh, it's where they've conditioned most of uh, the world's population to believe either doesn't exist or exists in such narrow parameters that um, they think that they're priests and um, their very enslaving religions hold all the answers for them. Um, the idea that there's a savior or, or one messiah um, for the world um, is just lazy and um, in a lot of ways very ignorant and uh, that's the point it keeps people waiting for a hero to come and rescue them when in truth the the real the real secret is that inside of us are our own hero we are our own messiah we are our own light we are the hero that saves ourselves and the more people that we can get to realize that, the more people that we could wake up, uh, the more people that we could ignite the uh, fire of freedom, of truth, of strength, the more people who release their inner heroes, um, then we're not just talking about a few people here and there, we're, we're talking about an army, an army of people ready to stand against this what is real this reptilian illuminati current that does indeed uh, hold sway and um, has grasped our political and financial leaders and um, you could argue in a lot of ways that they've taken over um, they've certainly taken over at the top and they've kept it uh, very lonely up there at the top um, and have definitely um, definitely worked towards a world domination uh, agenda and uh, we are starting to see that happen right in front of us uh, it's scary how so many people who uh, who just refuse to see it so I welcome you I welcome you to the first video of what I hope to be many. Um, even starting this YouTube page, um, <laughs> what should be a simple thing, was just fraught with trouble. Um, so I wonder if there, uh, if there wasn't some sort of um, interference, but um, that's cleared up now. <sighs> we of the Grand Order of Draco Slayers um, really struggled with coming with coming public, um, mostly because um, we're not exactly Christian. Um, I guess you could call us pagan, but I mean, even that's not necessarily correct. Um, what we are not is we are not followers of the Dragon Brotherhoods or the Serpent Powers. We are 
a collection of individuals who have embraced our spiritualities and have understood that we have descended from um, what could be called um, mm, pagan religions that um, were enslaved by these people. Um, it's hard to call people pagan and uh, and even even harder to have them understand um, what they're even doing as pagans. This religion of Dracos, um, the dragon, the snake, uh, the serpent, um, really is one of enslavement. And you look at heroes like um, who you'd call Saint George here. There are others, um, Zeus, uh, Thor, um, Ogun, um, and a number of others who uh, who crush giants who crush dragons, and these are not just stories, but these are, um, these are legends probably started out of uh, actual fact, and uh, the stories of these people uh, who have embraced these, these heroes um, know all too well the satanic reptilian threat. The, uh, the greed, um, the lust for gold, and um, because not only do they learn to invade people astrally and eat and drink their energy, they, uh, it manifests in the need to drink blood. And now for the Dracos, they have to drink blood. It's just part of what they do. It's a high, um, it's an addiction, it's also nourishment but they have trained their human um, worshippers to do the same. One, because I think it's funny to them that they could get humans to, to drink the blood of other humans as a, as a true and total perversion. But uh, also, too, I have heard that uh, blood, when the adrenal glands have, uh, have been kicked into full gear, generally they're tortured and, uh, and scared, almost uh, senseless. So much adrenaline in the blood causes um, a great type of euphoria, uh, a blinding white light, and when they drink that blood, that's the high that they get. And um, there's a lot of missing people out out in uh, America and, and throughout the rest of the world that will never be found, um, and it's due to this practice. The order. Um, uses uh, magical and spiritual forces and we engage in the astral realms and uh, we cleanse ourselves, and we cleanse and strengthen each other and we get ready to fight um, and we have waged many battles and um, in some cases uh, uh, been more victorious but we've suffered some, some losses we've uh, lost people who have just disappeared we have lost people to forms of mental instability um, and uh, and sometimes um, um, well we'll just leave it at that but we need more people we need to get people interested in what's really going on around them um, and we need to wake people up to their true potential um, if this isn't for you then it's you know no shame no shame in that but um, if this is something that uh, you feel in your heart and you feel in your soul that you need and that you've been called to, then uh, today is the day that you start. Um, I recommend that you get an image of St. George and you place it in your house, preferably by where you sleep. 